And here we go with attempt number two. Um, a little more ambitious, but still very, very simplistic. A 96 inch wide piece of whiteboard by 38 inches high, bent into a semicircle, held together with uh, three pieces of string. Okay, what you will notice is that the focus on the back of the screen is pretty good but uh, when you come around to the leading edge of the screen the, show, the, the focus is pretty much shot just because of the variance in distance of the curve with using a 96 inch piece of uh, board there's, uh, there's at least I would say two and a half to three feet between this edge here and the back of the screen. We're going to throw it straight into our factor um, this is kind of a long shot of the screen with the software active. You can see the bottom of the screen is pretty straight and there's not too much curvature if you look at the, um, at the sides of the screen, like the two leading edges. Um, everything kind of comes across pretty straight. The left hand side drops a little bit but that just needs a little bit of adjustment on my part. Okay, we're going to raise the light up a little bit so hopefully you can get the perspective of uh, how deep the screen is from the curve to the back of the screen. And not forgetting that this board that you're looking at is actually eight feet wide, so it's pretty damn big. But then again, once with the curve in place, you know, it drops it down to maybe five feet. So you do lose, you lose about three feet in, uh, in width with, uh, with, the, uh, with the bend. And with enough of me talking, we're going to move right into Factor. I put the camera right up close where you would see if you were sitting on your simulator looking at the screen. Watching the bottom of the screen, you'll see where the software stops working. And you get the full, uh, the full distortion. I think it's a matter of opinion, if or not you can live with it. And attempt number three was leaving the back of the screen as flat as I could, um, then just bending the outer edges around 90 degrees each side. The result was, as far as focus goes, much better. Um, I could get focus from the leading edges as well as the center of the screen much better than if I just went with a, uh, a constant curve see there you can see the time quite clearly and the icons pretty clear as well and again speed it up about 500 times me trying to tweak the 
software to give me a um, a non-distorted view of the game. And once again, a good gauge of how the game is looking is uh, along the leading edge that the the image doesn't bend up or bend down as it leaves the screen. Here you'll see they're pretty pretty straight. Not perfect, but uh, better than nothing at all. The right side is uh, more off than the left side for sure. Uh, maybe the left side's off as well. And the final shot, and this is with the uh, the soul is not is not active right now. So once again, you see how it bends up.